guys, how's it going? How's life? My name is Diavia and Johnson and I'm bringing you another video. Okay, so I um, am sorry if there's an echo. I am in my bathroom as you guys can see, but in this video, I kind of wanted to go over the 23 items that I want to get completed and completely out of my collection in 2023 okay so you guys want to see all that um i'm going to show you guys all that i'm trying to use up for the year then stay tuned and keep on watching okay so i do kind of have it separated um in categories right here i have some body mist i do have one lone perfume right here um and a body lotion from bath and body works this right here is body washes right here on this row these are scrubs these are some body creams that may be uh miscellaneous or from bath and body works as well as i have um an in shower conditioner okay so First, I wanna show you guys this Mediterranean Blue Waters. As you can see, the name is basically erased off. Um, I've had this, I think since 2019. I'm not entirely sure when I bought this. This was before I was really into Bath and Body Works. I'm not necessarily super into Bath and Body Works right now, but I have more of a, a bigger collection because of this Bath and Body Works um semi-annual sale and the body care day sale and the candle day sale you know i was breaking the bank so right now i only have a little bit of this basically it's the same amount that i have in this one um but you can't see it as see it super well um on this bottle so yeah i want to get rid of this i do like this scent but it's time for it to go they don't know they don't sell it anymore um i'm pretty sure i can get another scent like this and it's like there's no reason for me to keep keep it so i'm getting rid of it um because i'm trying to finish my stuff go through my stuff faster and not have as big of a collection as i did because i really wild out in um 2020 before i started making bath and body works i mean bath bath and hygiene videos so by 2021 you guys already saw the fruits of the labor of me going to the store every single day and purchasing things every two seconds okay so yeah this is gonna be out of my collection for sure by the end of 2023. I also have Sunset Guava Colada. I really do like this scent. Um, it's very tropical and um, as you can see, this is how much I have left. So there's no reason why this should not be gone, especially in the summertime because summer is the longest season in Houston. So I have ample time, ample days to use that. Wrapped in vanilla. Now, this is just me being petty, okay? So, as I, as you guys can tell, this is a new fragrance that just came out at the end of 2022, and I'm already trying to get it out the way. Um, I am not the biggest fan of vanilla, and this smells like cookies. This is something that people who love gourmand scents would love, but I am not that girl. So, this is my least favorite spray, and I want to get it out out of the way now i don't know if i'm gonna get rid of this completely in 2023 but i want this to be halfway done by the end of 2023 and i'll feel accomplished if i finish it i'm gonna be ecstatic and i but you but you never know by the time i finish using this i may love it you never know i have this coconut and hibiscus um fragrance mist uh i'm gonna show you the rest of the set as well but i want to get rid of this um, body ecology body mist um, I do like body ecology body mist but I feel as though this has been here for a little while I mean I think it's been in it's basically been in my collection for about a year now and I think it's time for it to go um, I bought a lot of body bath and body works mist so now I'm starting to uh, forget about this so I do want to get this out of the way you guys know how I feel about, well, some of you guys know how I feel about it. If you watch uh, my perfume body fragrance um, collection, you guys know that I feel like this is a good scent, but it's not the scent that I I um, am accustomed to at this time. I'm really accustomed to young girl scents at the moment. And I feel like with this scent, I should have my life together. And since I don't, I think I kind of want to get rid of it um and finish it off and then you know wait until i finally do get my life together and purchase it again okay but right now this is going to go out my collection and be out for a long time until i decide to purchase it again until my life improves 
So I do have this Wild Madagascar Vanilla. I recently completed the Body Mist, which I was gonna put in this video, but I had already completed it by the time I made this video, which this one is, uh, this one is just a little bit left. Like, this is an older body cream, but the body cream is very loose, so it still shows on the actual bottle, so you can't really see it as well as if you was using a newer body lotion. That's the only thing that I hate about it, but it's really not that much left in there. It's honestly right here in the cap. It's gonna get done by the end of the week, honestly. But that is something that's gonna be completed in 2023, and we're happy about that for me. Now we're gonna move over to my body washes, which is the hardest thing to get rid of, okay? I have a lot of these. I have Olay Moisture Ribbons plus uh, the Shea and Notes of Manuka Honey. Now I love the Olay Moisture Ribbons body wash. Uh, they're very moisturizing. I have very dry skin. I'm a very crusty individual. <laughs> So this is gonna work perfectly, especially during the cooler months. Um, this, I was using this very consistently at first, but then I kind of fell off once I got everything else. But now it's like, it's time for me to pick it back up and get it out of my collection because I probably had this about a year and um, I don't know how long it lasts, but I don't want it to go bad because this was actually a good body wash. I have this Dove body wash that's 27.05 ounces. So we'll see how that works out. I have used this, well, have I? I don't know if I've used this, but I, I think I've used it, but it says it expires or it, it's best by August 15, 23. So I am trying to get this out of the collection because I don't know if it'll what it'll really do, if it, if it will actually, um, show that it's expiring or what, but I don't wanna wait and see. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to get that out of my collection, especially heavily in the spring and summertime. Um, I also have this raspberry and lime scent. Um, this one expires August 1st, 2023. So I am going to be working on that one heavily. I, I like it when they have the expiration date so you kind of know what when it's gonna expire. But a lot of my stuff for some reason doesn't have expiration date. So either they have long shelf lives or they don't expire. <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> I have this native sugar cookie and the reason why I have it upside down is because I actually have this in my shower. I'm almost done with this, but um, since I'm not done with it, I wanted to show you guys this to show that I'm trying to get rid of this in 2023. I have this oat milk latte from their coffee house, I believe collection that they, they came out in 2020. No, 2021, I don't know why I keep saying 2020. Last year was 2022, so 2021. And now I am uh, going to try to get rid of this this year as well. Moving on with this Coconut Hibiscus Body Ecology, I have this in the Bubble Bath slash um, Body Wash. So we're gonna work on this with the Body Mist as well. We have the Sweet Pea and Violet Body Wash from Suave. I really do like this scent and I recently picked up the Sweet Pea Body Mist from, from Bath and Body Works. So this, I'm gonna be working on this um, as well. As you guys can see, um, I have already used this. I'm gonna go heavy on this in the springtime. I do really like this scent. I do really enjoy it. So I can't wait to use that. Now the last body wash that I'm for sure gonna finish because I absolutely, just like the smell of this body wash. Um, it's the Cocoa Butter and Oat Milk Caress Body Wash. It's not necessarily like a terrible scent. It just smells like lipstick. I don't know what it's supposed to smell like, but it don't smell like what I thought it was gonna smell like. Some people say it smells like chocolate. Uh, I don't necessarily like the smell of chocolate. I love the taste of it, but this don't even smell like that. It just smells like lipstick. And I'm like, why would I wanna smell like lipstick? So yeah, it's time for it to go. Now we're gonna move on to the body scrubs. And I hope you guys are able to see these things, but it is what it is. Um, I have this Onyx Bathhouse scrub. I have it in the Winter Blossom. Now, when I used this last year, I did not, well, when I used this in 2021, I went heavy on it. I didn't really use this in 2022 at all, which is the reason why it's still here, but it needs to go. Um, I, uh, it, this is not necessarily my favorite scent. It does smell like more uh, mature, 
but I feel like when their scents are very fragranced in the Honest Bathhouse line, then that means that it's actually going to hold a scent out of the shower compared to a lot of their other stuff. The two that I'm putting in this video are actually heavily fragranced. So when you leave the shower, you have a lightly smell, a light smell to you, which is you, which is not common with all their other ones that you would think would smell good, but it literally never smells like anything or it either is a hit or miss because it doesn't last outside of the shower or even while you're putting it on your body i had this um sweet like honey which basically is the lavender and um lavender and honey one um i have this one it's time for it to go i actually end up dropping this in the shower end up breaking the top so it's for sure time for it to leave but as you guys can see i did put a dent in it and that's okay with me um but it's time for it to go i feel like it, it it can it can for sure leave i have this sugar cookie um body scrub from body prescriptions this came out in 2021 um i'm not sure if they put one out for 2022 but i didn't purchase many bath many um body prescription scrubs last year um i decided to get this one um it's not necessarily my favorite scent body prescriptions don't don't really have a lot of fragrance body scrubs in my opinion when it comes down to uh their more gourmand scents i thought it was going to smell better than it did but it didn't really smell all that great but i'm almost done with this i'm actually using it in the shower right now so this is going to be done by the next empties video that is of 2023 I have this vanilla coffee body scrub that I literally just purchased last year and had not used this at all, but I smelled it and it smells like absolutely nothing. So it's time for it to go um, already, even though I haven't used it. Sometimes it's just, I just be buying stuff and now I'm ready for it to go out the collection already. This one, this honey almond, this honey almond kind of smells like the uh, cherry almond lotion from Jergens, and I hate the smell of that lotion. <laughs> So that's gonna leave as well. Um, it's I'm crazy for boo. This came around the fall um, Halloween time of 2021. Right now it's time for it to go. So I'm ready for it to go and it will be leaving this year. Now I am going to show you my body creams and um, body butters that I want to leave. This is a Cocoa Butter Kisses. Um, this came from the brand homemade on a cloud but that brand is no, no longer exists it used to be a girl that worked at the hair store that i would go to um that she had the company but i guess she i guess she disassembled it she didn't want it anymore so um either that or she changed up the name and i just don't know what the name is anymore but this is one of the last things that i have from her it has glitter in it and it also has a um, color to it so I don't like it to want I don't want it to rub on my sheets or anything like that so I usually don't wear wear it like that but I should especially when I be having my my legs out I mean we could use this we can hurry up and get through with this so I'm trying to get done up done with this as you can see it's almost done but it's just not done so I can't put it in the empties I have the coconut hibiscus and this is the last thing from that coconut hibiscus body collagen line that i have this is um i've used this so this should for sure get get done if especially if i don't get done with any of the body wash or the body mist this body cream for sure should go i also recently picked up this warm vanilla sugar with body butter now um i just put this is really another petty decision this doesn't really smell like anything now I, I said that one smells too vanilla -y. now this one don't smell like anything I, I guess that's the reason why a lot of people don't really speak about warm vanilla sugar from bath and body works like that because they it, it's not really potent but in this body cream it didn't really do anything for me i don't know if i something's wrong with my nose but it just does not smell like anything to me so yeah um this is just a regular basic body cream even if i'm not wearing a uh, uh a scented routine or if this is if the vanilla doesn't go with the routine i can still use this because this does not really smell like anything to me honestly last but not least i have this shea moisture coconut and, and hibiscus in shower body conditioner this is for dull skin now i am ready for this to go i don't necessarily like the smell of the coconut hibiscus line from shea moisture i know a lot of people like this line but i don't know why because it smells okay um i'm also ready for it to go 
uh i don't really feel like it necessarily does anything for me i feel like when things are not um things have to immediately be rinsed off it doesn't do anything for my skin so this is not necessarily something that i would pick up again um at least not from this brand maybe i'll try different in shower body conditioners but this one just didn't do it for me so i just wanted to hurry up and get this one out of the way too okay guys so as you can see that wraps up the video for the 23 things that i want to complete in 2023 hopefully you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and most definitely subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye